There are eight islands in total here, supporting now about 25 gibbons. Most of those are white-handed gibbons. Uh, they come in all different colours here. We've got uh, from blonde, dark blonde, light brown, dark brown to black. But they all have a common feature of a white ring around the face and the white hands. Also known as lar gibbons. Their Latin name is Hulabatis lar. And they're the most common species in Thailand. So they're the most common species we have at the rescue centre. About um, 80 gibbons we have here. Except for the first island at the front, and there's two agile gibbons on there from the same genus. Um, but they're totally dark. They're also known as dark-handed gibbons. Gibbons, uh, like all other apes except humans, don't swim. So the water is a natural boundary for them. The gibbons here are enjoying um, probably the richest lifestyle amongst the rescue centre. Most of the islands are totally man-made. Um, rocks and sand and earth dumped in the lake um, and then subsequently planted with trees. But the islands don't support them nutritionally, so we still have to feed the animals. And then a couple of the islands have been created by carving a chunk out of the mainland, and these have a bit more uh, old growth. That's a truly uh, rich experience for those gibbons. Gibbons live in monogamous pairs in the wild. They're territorial animals and they live in family groups. We've got a family over here of uh, four gibbons. On the island up here, there was a baby born recently. And um, <clears throat> the island's the only place that we allow breeding at the rescue centre. We don't believe that um, uh, a baby primate or any other species of animal should be brought up in a cage. So these uh, gibbons on the islands um, have the best chance now um, considering the backgrounds they've come from as tourist props or pets to going back into the wild. A lot of the animals we have at the rescue centres have um, been abused or ne neglected for too long and have either uh, physical disabilities from, from this treatment or just are not psychologically um, capable and prepared to go back into the wild. And the gibbons on the islands have uh, the best chance for that considering the lifestyle they're leading, leading here. The main thing that they're, they're lacking is the knowledge of finding fruiting trees in the right time because obviously we're supporting them with food. But having said that, there's another side to the, uh, uh, to the issue. That's, um, is there any wild for the gibbons to go back to? Because in Thailand now, there's only 15% original forest compared to less than a century ago. A natural resource that's been sold off, a lot of urban development, and there's not much space left for the wildlife. So um, even if the animals are fit to go back to the, to the forest, there's not really that much forest for them to go fit, uh, fit enough for them to go back to. Particularly with gibbons, as territorial animals, um, you need to find forest which is firstly rich enough to support, support them, um, so it's not a degraded forest and it has enough uh, of the different kinds of varieties of trees that they need to support them. The other thing is, um, is it protected? So are you going to be able to release them somewhere where they're not going to be poached within a few days and go straight back into um, illegal wildlife trade? And the third thing is, <clears throat> if you find forest that's rich enough and safe enough, um, is it already saturated with wildlife? because you could do more damage to existing wild populations by releasing ex-captive animals than overall benefit for the species. So it makes it a very, very complicated issue and you need a lot of research to establish um, an area suitable to release um, animals such as gibbons. If this kind of research is available, um, then that's the next step for these animals here. If you need to get in a position to observe the animals and see how they're getting on, you still have to be wary um, about proximity to them and what they're going to react to that. So that's um, something that we don't yet know, how their behaviour will change in um, a forest where they don't have um, this kind of boundary. Mm -hmm.